All right, so Vince Staples released his new album, FM, November 2nd. It has 11 songs and it runs for 23 minutes. The album cover draws inspiration from Green Day's 94 album, Dookie. And both have um, a, a similar drawing style to that of the Where's Waldo um, book series, which I thought was interesting. But anyways, moving on, singles, we have track 7, Fun, featuring E-40. Standouts, we have track 1, Feels Like Summer, featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Vince talks about Long Beach being active year-round in terms of danger. He says, summertime in the LB wild. We gonna party till the sun or the guns come out. JB first one fouled out playing ball. Now the whole city love you how. Boy, they know they wasn't down from the get go. Dirty got a dozen rounds, better get low. Little Johnny gave his life for this shit. All he got was a plot and a bottle from the Winco. Still Northside, Parkside, Vince stole twins. New friends, we skipped those. Try finessing my way into heaven. My hit that gate, my fall from grace. Splat on the concrete, real street runner. First one still feel like summer. Cold weather won't stop no gunner. Wrong hat, wrong day, I killed my brother. So this first track was um, kind of brought back some things because I'm from Long Beach. And when he says, um, JB first one fouled out playing ball. JB is Jabari Benton. He's somebody I went to school with and he got involved in you know the gang lifestyle and eventually it caught up to him so when he says first one fouled out meaning he um got killed basically and then he says now the whole city love you how and that speaks to when he was alive people um wasn't really rocking with him like that they say negative things about him and then once he ended up passing people want to come out showing fake love and stuff when he wasn't really feeling that way when he was alive and the crazy part about that situation i remember before he even got involved in that lifestyle he um asked me to join him in doing that and i told him no and i was trying to talk about doing that but you know when people um are saying that ways they're going to do what they want and then for that to actually happen like that that was crazy i remember going to school and then one of the homies told me that it had happened. And I was like, damn, man, because I had warned him about that. And then the entire situation was messed up. And like to to um, like listen to it, I hear it brought back up again on this album, like brought back up uh, memories and flashbacks, which is crazy. But anyways, moving on. And then he says, boy, they know they wasn't down from the get go. And that speaks to what I was just saying before. And then right here, little Johnny is uh, one of Vince's um, other homies that got taken as well from that lifestyle. And so it feels like summer is basically a record that basically says that regardless of the season, um, it all is always hot in the LBC, meaning there's always danger or there's always something uh, bound to take place regardless of um, what time of year it is. And then he has uh, track two outside. Vince raps about what goes on when you're out in the field. At any point, something can pop off. Then we have track six, run the bands. Vince needs his money and isn't someone to play with. As he, as he says, I'm not the one. We have track eight, No Bleeding, featuring Kamaya. As the title says, the song is about not getting caught lacking, which could result in you bleeding. And then we have track 11, Tweaking, featuring Vani, Buddy, and Kalani. It's a record about receiving news about events from where Vince is from, which is Long Beach, which leads to him, as the title says, Tweaking. He says... When Jabari died, it was off the porch for homicides. Then when Hefe died, I bought some things to pass the guys. But when Johnny died, all I had was Show's book. And I was, as I was speaking before, Jabari was somebody that I knew. And um, Jabari was one of Vince's uh, friends. And when he says, when Jabari died, it was off the porch for homicides. Basically, he was out and about looking to retaliate. Um, in reaction to what happened to Jabari. And then when Hefe died, bought some things to pass the guys. 
bought some gats to pass the guys but when johnny died all i had was shows but basically during that situation he was away and he was told not to um not to get involved or retaliate so he says all i had was shows book so the album is basically for people from california and more specifically uh, from the long beach area because a lot of these references uh, most people wouldn't understand unless you're actually from the city so but anyways moving on sleepers we have um don't get chipped featuring j-rock and we have fun featuring e40 skips we have relay and track 10 5 6 2 4 5 3 9 3 8 2 skit my personal favorites are feels like summer outside run the bands and tweaking and my overall conclusion is that as i was saying earlier this is something from the home state and for the hometown examples being um jb Alyssa, and lake Mall. jb if you're from long beach you know him as jabari benton I went to school with him at Bancroft. Alyssa is a girl um, from the city that most people would know. And the Lakewood Mall reference where he is saying um, you have to be, you basically have to be careful. Oh, watch out for niggas at Lakewood Mall. Basically, he's speaking to um, his gang and a rival gang. Basically, it being um, almost certain that you would run into a rival there being that the gang that Vince is from and the rival the rivals gang territory is basically minutes away so going to the Lakewood Mall you have to be careful because you can run into them very easily and I wish the interludes were full lips songs and I gave the overall project um, a 9 out of 11 which comes out to a 81% so overall um, I thought the project was pretty cool. It got a couple of bangers on there. And as I was saying, for most people, if you're not from the city, some of the references you wouldn't really get. But it's basically a, a project for California and more specifically people from Long Beach. So with that said, if you guys um, are a fan of Vince Staples, be sure to pick up the album. If you enjoyed my review, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.